Hey everyone, my name is Noel and welcome back to another Pixel Gun 3D Top 20 video. Today we're going to be counting down the top 20 heavy weapons for specifically spamming in Pixel Gun 3D. These are going to be the heavy weapons that you guys are going to be using to specifically get kills. That These are not going to be ranked on their performance in 3-cat loadouts or their performance in how useful they are. They're going to be, are they good for just single category spam? And so we're going to rank them today. For more Top 20 weapon videos, do not forget to smash that like button and also consider subscribing or you know what just subscribe with notifications on so you guys don't miss a top 20 weapons from me and if you guys are maybe thinking about starting a youtube channel or you're new to youtube and you want to know what equipment to use you guys can find my setup list down in the description next to that arrow emoji if you guys want to make a purchase make sure to use one of my links because it would greatly support the channel and without further ado let's just jump right into it we're going to skip honorable mentions today and just get right into the number 20 position siege mode gauntlet we're going to have some other manual guidance weapons, but in terms of damage, it's just not all that great. It does 40 base damage, and then all six rockets does 240. So if you can manage to hit five to six rockets, which can be pretty hard to do, you will one-shot, which is pretty cool. But just based on performance, I feel like it performs in a lot of the other weapons that I could have included, so I figured number 20. Next up is going to be Enchanted Crystal, and although it has overall less damage, it has 72 base damage and then 217 damage. And because it only shoots three rockets, I figured it'd be easier to hit those rockets and then also your odds would be increased of actually getting a kill so it's basically just a better siege mode gauntlet number 18 is going to be bad clown it has a 96 contact damage and 140 base damage so i figured it'd be pretty easy to get kills with this weapon um this i know has nothing to do with the video but it's also like one of the best weapons you can get for block crash but yeah because of its high damage and it, the fact that it's super easy to actually hit people or people to receive your damage in like close range maps i figured that yeah this should definitely be on the list number 17 is going to be christmas ultimatum and i know that you guys might be surprised to see this so far down on the list but the reason why it's so far down on the list is because it's guaranteed damage is only 106 and if you are in an open map or you know people are just really fast the odds of you hitting the max damage of 169 is going to be pretty low and so in terms of damage it's just going to be pretty weak but it is still pretty decent for spamming nonetheless. Number 16 is going to be PGA TV, and this is a consecutive explosion heavy weapon. It's the second best consecutive explosion heavy weapon in the game, which makes it pretty good. Its base damage is only 144, so you're pretty much always going to be two-shotting players, which is why it's a bit lower, uh, just because of its huge range limitation. But if you guys are in close range maps, this, this weapon is definitely going to overperform. Next up is going to be Anniversary Big Buddy, which has a base damage of 180. 80. That may sound pretty good, but I feel like it's just just not enough to guaranteed one shot most of the time so you're going to be two shotting a lot of the time and on top of that it's got a pretty slow fire rate with a fixed delay so I figured I, I'm, I might put it lower but I don't know I could totally understand if you guys would want this to be higher I maybe it should be higher I don't really know next up is going to be temple guardian which hits for 111 damage no matter what so for that reason I feel like it's just going to be a way better bad clown Although the mines are not permanent, it does shoot like those weird firework things that people can walk over, which basically just makes it super good for spamming in close range maps because you almost are always going to be two-shotting. Number 13 is going to be Mirror, and Mirror has 131 base damage, and then that little uh, gravitation thing that it shoots does an additional 21 damage, meaning you're always going to be two-shotting with this heavy weapon. It also doesn't require a charge, meaning that it's super easy to spam with, and yeah, in close range maps, this thing is going to absolutely dominate. Now that I'm actually kind of thinking about it, I also kind of wish this weapon was higher on my list, but I'm not going to change it because I don't have time to. Number 12 is going to be Event Horizon. Event Horizon is pretty dang overpowered. It hits for 234 if you can direct it, and then the plasma rocket's going to be 70 damage. It isn't like extremely overpowered, you know, but in like Team Striker duels, it's going to be very, very, very handy. Also, it's, it's pretty dang capable of getting killed but you know if you're gonna rely on that plasma rocket expect some pretty bad gameplay i'll just say that number 11 is going to be frozen heart which has a base damage of 159 the thing that really carries this weapon is the fact that it just has a huge aoe it will pretty much always be a two shot which is kind of frustrating because of its slow fire rate but the huge aoe 
definitely carries this weapon super high. Number 10 is going to be C4 Basket. This is basically just Christmas Ultimatum, but with fixed delay and way more damage. So Christmas Ultimatum's max damage currently is 169, but C4 Basket's base damage is 164. Its max damage from what I tested is 199, so it's one damage off from being a one-shot which is super frustrating, but it will still get pretty good gameplay because cluster bomb weapons are always easy to hit players with, and it just has a pretty dang high damage. Number 9 may surprise you, but Super Simple Dimple, at Mythical, does 153 damage, which just makes it a very, very consistent heavy weapon for spamming. This is just the most well-rounded heavy weapon on this list, because it has a pretty big AoE, it has a good rocket speed, it has good damage, and a good fire rate. You can rocket jump with it, and overall, it's just going to get you very good gameplay. Number 8 is going to be Plague Spreader, which hits for 157 base damage and then an extra 23 poison damage, which is pretty dang good. The thing that makes this weapon so overpowered for spamming is the fact that it has a homing mine. So once the mine makes contact with the ground and a player walks close to it, it will automatically lock on and home in on them for some insane damage. So yeah, this thing is going to be pretty good for spamming. Uh, in close range maps, I'd argue that it's not going to be as good because the mine might be running into walls and stuff, but in medium range to long range maps, I feel like it'd be pretty good. Number 7 is going to be Streaming Beast, which has 199 DPS. It's it's basically just a stream beam weapon, and streaming weapons are just going to be pretty dang overpowered in general, especially if you're an aim assist user. Um, I don't really feel, feel like I need to say a lot more, except for the fact that stream beam weapons are just mainly going to be for close combat. It's kind of hard for stream beam weapons to shine nowadays in long range, but it is still pretty good. Number 6 is going to be Pixel Cola Refresher, which I just didn't get the damage for some reason, but at Mythical, which I guess most of you guys are going to get this at Mythical because it's available in the gallery for 1,000 coupons at Mythical. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is just pretty dang overpowered because of its high fire rate and its uh, acceleration after killing bonus. Although it's mainly going to be a 3-shot, sometimes you can 2-shot, which is nice. And so I just feel like that even though this is mainly a rocket jump heavy, you can get some pretty dang good gameplay when spamming it. Number 5 may surprise you, but Soda Pop is actually pretty good. I don't know its initial damage, although after testing it, I'm pretty sure it's about 170 to 175. But what's so cool about this weapon is that it does actually one-shot. Uh, its, its max damage is over 200. If you can direct hit, the cluster bombs will kill someone if they're, if at, you know, just regular armor, no modules, no nothing. Um, so I feel like that the gameplay on this is going to be pretty dang good. At least better than Christmas Ultimatum or C4 Basket. Number 4 is going to be Dislike. This weapon is still extremely overpowered despite the fact that no one uses it anymore. It has a base damage of 164 and then a headshot damage, yes this hits headshot damage, of 230 which means it's going to be a guaranteed one shot headshot. So it's just pretty dang overpowered as far as heavy weapons go and honestly I dare I say it's underrated because I never see anyone using it. Now, I don't know why I have this as number 3, because it probably should be, like, a little bit lower, but Cold Frightener is extremely underrated. It's a heavy weapon you can get right now for 1,000 coupons. You can rocket jump with it. It does have fixed delay, but as far as spamming goes, this thing will always two-shot. I'm a big consistency guy. You guys probably know that by now, but I, I know it, this might be a little bit too high on the list still, <laughs> but it will always two shot as long as you can kill someone while they're inflicted with the curse debuff. Its base damage is 104 and its curse damage is 178 which is pretty dang good. I just really love this weapon because it's super easy to get kills with and it's a really good starter weapon if you guys are looking for 1000 coupons weapon you know. Um, however I'm about to give you a better 1000 coupons heavy weapon. Number 2 is going to be Invincible Line, and this has the highest damage per second of any weapon possible in the game. It has a base damage of 150, headshot damage of 210, its super punch body damage is 300, and its super punch headshot damage is 420. So yeah, basically this heavy weapon is extremely good for spamming. It hits for so much damage with modules and extra damage bonuses. It's going to be extremely overpowered. It's, it's just really good for spamming overall. And yeah, it's just insanely OP. Number one, I'm going with Stinger 3000. And at Legendary, it hits for 172. And at Mythical, it hits for 198. But what's so insanely overpowered about this weapon is the fact that you control the missiles. So it's going to be pretty dang easy to hit shots. 
On top of that, it has six rounds with an insanely fast fire rate. So yeah, it's just going to be pretty dang powerful for spamming um, because it'll be good in long range, close range, whatever it may be. I think you can even rocket jump with this, although I'm not entirely sure, but I guess I'll just put it on screen in text now if you can't. So <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video there. I know this video is probably going to be quick and very short and very fast paced edited, but it's because literally in uh, tomorrow I'm going on a gigantic road trip so I won't have any chances to make videos and I just haven't had time to record so that's why it's gonna be fast um, but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did do not forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more pixel gun content from me and I hope to see you guys all in the next video bye bye